Texas officials are expected to execute inmate Robert Pruitt by lethal injection Tuesday night for the killing of a prison security guard in 1999. Prosecutors said Pruitt was angry that the guard Daniel Nagel wrote him up for taking his lunch to a no-food area of the prison. He was in denial of anything we would ask him. Mrs. Nagel was dead. We got witnesses that saw him was dead. Despite investigators finding Nagel's ripped up note that mentioned Pruitt's violation, Pruitt claims he didn't kill him. His current legal team argues the following. No evidence connects the inmate to the killing. Evidence that was collected was improperly handled and Pruitt's legal representation at the time was insufficient. I did not kill Daniel Nagel. While no DNA evidence connects Pruitt to the scene, prosecutors say there was no evidence to exonerate him either. They argue Pruitt injured his thumb in the killing, which they say is proof he did it. Pruitt was originally in prison for being an accomplice in another killing that happened when he was 15 years old. So far, Pruitt has not had luck appealing his case to local appellate courts. On Friday, the Fifth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals refused to delay Pruitt's execution. He's also appealed to the Supreme Court. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.